Bob Weigel here of Sound Doctor and I'm going to walk you through a fully polyphonic synthesizer today and it is a Korg Poly 6 here. Let me put the panel down so you can see it in its beauty here. Um, this machine is a simple uh, single voltage controlled oscillator per voice, six voice synthesizer and inside we have over here the power supply uh, transformer and input from the AC mains there and some filtering and fusing and then we have the power supply with its fuses and uh, the rail uh, regulators there and adjustment for minus 5, plus 5 and 15 volt minus 15 is preset on this one as I remember. Now we also have uh, three other boards in here and uh, this one on the left we're going to be less concerned about today this is the effects board these are the bucket brigade devices which create the chorus effect they're a delay unit where uh, we'll, we'll talk about those later but anyway yeah uh, and uh, you can see a battery that I've replaced here I'm gonna glue that to something when I'm done and uh, the original battery sets in here and it tends to rust and destroy all kinds of stuff these chips always get fried almost and sometimes the CPU socket gets ruined, uh, this connector back here can get ruined, traces get melted off the board. It's a lot of work to restore this board and you can't of course replace any of it um, unless you can find another one that's good and a lot of these have gotten wrecked so give them to a certified technician, don't let them get totally wrecked. Processors also, there's two CPUs, this one and one underneath here, which I'll show you in a second. This board I'm going to lay up on top. I've got another board like it without the CPU. This is the dead CPU, which just, you know, got pulled out of the other board. So he's no good anymore. But um, this board you can see all the details on since it's pulled out more easily. And. Um, under here are a few other things too hidden but nothing that uh, we're going to discuss so yeah basically um, this is the patch manager central processing unit here the memory the uh, digital to analog converter which uh, you can actually measure out of this buffer amp on pin one you can see all the knobs you should be able to on an oscilloscope see them move the voltages um, they're just given a little fraction of time where it views that particular knob and uh, outputs it on that uh, digital analog converter over here we have the uh, the uh, CPU which the keyboard interfaces with and uh, as you hit keys here this uh, will uh, create the proper voltage on uh, through this uh, resistor ladder and so it forms another uh, digital analog converter there and uh, then uh, we have uh, various little rows of capacitors which get charged up as these multiplexers gate the signal uh, through from for instance as this thing as a key gets hit it says okay this key got hit and it buffers that uh, that voltage on one of these capacitors and stores it there. It's a sample and hold cell and so that gets held so that the appropriate circuitry here can create that particular oscillation and um, frequency. And this um, is the transistor pair that is used to generate the oscillations. You see there's, there's a synth channel here, synth channel here, three, four, five, six. This is a six voice synthesizer each has one oscillator, each has one filter, the SSM2044 in this Poly 6, and uh, some adjustments for the filter, adjustments for the oscillator, and uh, for the VCA in there. And uh, these are the envelope generator chips. So it's a smooth analog envelope. Also, many of the uh, synths of the 80s used digital envelopes. Only a few of them had real envelopes, the CLDK600, and this one used that same chip, the Poly 61, continued to use that chip, though it went to digital controlled oscillators. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much uh, the run over of the inside of this thing. All the, all the panel boards, you know, have their, uh, their stuff there to uh, uh, properly interface with the rest of this circuitry. The 
uh, things that are happening on the front panel. Uh, there are some chips up there for um, various things, but most of the stuff is down here on these boards. So there's uh, kind of a look inside the Poly 6, and uh, I'll do a little board talk here in a moment.